I love waste grounds. They're home to a wide array of edible plants. And I'm here in a churchyard in Oxfordshire and I've come straight to this little patch at the back of the churchyard because I just know it's home to edibles. And uh, this one in particular. These leaves here, the rhombic triangular shape that you're going to find again and again in the plants of the beetroot family. Now what you're not going to pick out here, because this camera's a bit shoddy, but you find it especially when the plant's younger and growing, but on all the leaves you'll find a, a coating of what looks like um, grey dots or shiny dots. They're actually tiny bladder hairs that you can rub off with your thumb. But um, it's a distinctive characteristic of this plant alongside the shape of the leaves and then these really quite nondescript flowers there's no petals as such they just form these clusters on the on the flowering spikes and if you've ever grown beetroot or swiss chard and spinach at home then you'll recognize this flowering structure they just happen to be a big bit, bit bigger on the on the beetroots but um you know, when we're, when we're talking about plant patterns, then this is it for the beetroot family. The shape of the leaves. The very acute branching upright stems with the clusters of nondescript flowers and leaves that are generally coated with those mealy, mealy dots. So it's a fantastic family, as I say, because all the plants are edible and this is a family that contains um samphire and sea blight and i've probably mentioned a few others in previous videos so yeah i'm just gonna pick a few leaves off for my dinner and i'd say go and get to know fat hen because it's only a few weeks away from being able to harvest quite a lot of grain from it Wonderful waste grounds.